Hello, this is Carlton Osborne, CEO of Animal Biome. This is a short video overview of Animal Biome's gut health report, which is provided to every pet parent that purchases a doggy biome or kitty biome gut health test and submits a sample to be analyzed. The information in this report can help you make better decisions about your pet's diet, supplements, and overall health regimen. A few weeks ago, our eldest dog, Charlie, was experiencing some moderate GI distress and his diarrhea lasted more than 36 hours. We took a poop sample and sent it to Animal Biome to be analyzed, and these are his results. Every pet parent who submits a sample receives a report like this, which can be accessed through the pet portal. Charlie is a 14-year-old herding dog mix on a raw diet. He, is, he recently has pretty bad arthritis, so we started him on Galaprant about six months ago. I tell you this because it's important to have the whole health history of the pet when interpreting the results of a microbiome test. When reviewing a report, I like to start with a summary. At the top, we have this speed dial that gives an overall assessment of Charlie's microbiome and how it compares to our healthy reference set. One very important thing to do when you get to this page is to describe the severity of your pet's symptoms by using this handy slider bar. I think Charlie's symptoms are moderate, so I will move the slider here. If I had thought Charlie's symptoms were mild, I would move the slider bar here. Notice that the recommendations in the report change based on how I describe Charlie's symptoms. The next thing we'll do is we'll look at the dietary recommendations. Also notice that the report is making some dietary recommendations. It's recommending that we increase the amount of fiber in Charlie's diet, increase the amount of protein, and also it's noting that Charlie has high levels of E. coli, which is often the cause of GI distress. Sometimes the recommendations we make here will be products we make. Sometimes they'll be products made by third parties, and sometimes they might just be dietary recommendations that you can do on your own. The next thing we'll look at is microbiome diversity. With diversity, we measure how many different types of bacteria Charlie has in his gut and how evenly they are distributed. Think of it like a bowl of M&Ms. Are all the M&M colors represented? Red, orange, green, blue, yellow, and dark brown? Or are they, and are they evenly distributed? Or are there more of some colors than other colors? Sometimes you have a pet like Charlie with a good number of different types of bacteria, so good diversity, but they have the wrong bacteria. Going back to the M&M example, Charlie has some unusual M&M colors that we don't usually see in healthy pets. This might be what's causing his GI problems. Let's look at the details to understand what is going on. One of the really cool things about the microbiome is that the bacteria found there relate directly to the macronutrients of the food you are feeding. Fusobacteria help Charlie digest protein. Firmicutes help Charlie digest carbohydrates. Bacteroidetes help Charlie digest fiber. And proteobacteria and actinobacteria help Charlie digest fat. When we look at Charlie's microbiome, what we see is pretty out of balance. It's dominated by firmicutes, and it doesn't look like he has a measurable amount of bacteroidetes or fusobacteria. We feed Charlie a high protein raw diet, so why doesn't he have more fusobacteria? It could be that his fusobacteria is there, but they're more of unhealthy bacteria that are crowding out the, the measurement. So let's move on to look at those and what we can do about it. We do that by going to the overall comparison. When we look here, we see that on the left side is the average healthy dog. And on the right is Charlie's microbiome. It's pretty clear that Charlie has a number of bacteria, particularly these last four, that aren't found in healthy dogs. And they're really dominating his microbiome. In addition, he has 5.8% of Escherichia which is E. coli. 
high levels of E. coli are highly correlated with diarrhea. And even though it's only 5.8% of his microbiome, this is considered high, and it might be the bad actor screwing up Charlie's microbiome and making him sick. When we look at his last microbiome test from about seven or eight, some eight months ago, we see that Charlie's microbiome is a little out of balance. He has lots of fusobacterium, but no E. coli, Escherichia or E. coli. So at this point in the microbiome review, most parents ask, why is my pet's microbiome so out of balance? In Charlie's case, it could be that he's getting old, or it could be the medications we recently put him on for his arthritis. Sometimes you really, really never know the why, and we should focus on how to restore the microbiome instead. So let's move on to this core bacterial breakdown. And in this section of the report, we look at all of the bacteria that we find in healthy dogs and go in, look at each one and talk about where Charlie sits in relation to healthy. And in this case, Clostridium, he's a little on the high side. And so we make recommendations such as adding um, Saccharomyces boulardii right here as a way of reducing this particular bacteria. So this section is really important. Um, there's a lot of great information here on how to adjust your pet's microbiome to get it more healthy. And then the last section of the report is the appendix. And this is a convenient tabular view of all of the bacteria that we found in your pet's gut above 1% and how it relates to our healthy reference. Here you can see that Charlie has some green flags, some yellow flags, and some red flags. A healthy dog should have almost all green flags. Okay, that's a quick overview of the Animal Biome Gut Health Report. And as you can see, Charlie's microbiome is very much out of balance. We're going to give Charlie our, the Animal Biome Gut Restore Supplement, 60 capsules, two a day for 60 days, I'm sorry, for 30 days, and then test again two weeks after completing the bottle of 60 capsules. I hope you found your, the, I hope you find your pet's report as useful as I found Charlie's. I hope you found, I hope you find your pet's report as useful as I found Charlie's. Thanks.